Thank you, Her Excellency, the House of Kraji. By a family. So a family is important for the community. Yeah. A community is described by families. Your family, another family. You know, you make a clan. The clan makes a the bigger family. Uh-huh. It makes you what? Healthy. Uh, I want you to, I, I see you with pens and papers, yeah? I want to describe what is healthy. Mm -hmm. Because of the irregular working schedules, you can plan maybe you want to stay in a place for six months, you are transferred before the six months elapse. Wow. Another. In any family, we have roles. Fathers, roles, protect, provide. Your cars, get angry with your kids and say, Ata sijui muli nitoka wapi. Imagine you'll see that. Utajua wa doing. Did you hear the word doing? Not like you are such a very bad child. Unconscious. Women are the counselors and guidance for their children. Because every other time when your husband is so many kilometers away. The reason why that certificate may be very important is to secure your family, to secure your wife, and to secure your children. I will tell you for free because I'm a woman, when my husband had not given me the certificate, I did not believe I was his wife. And of course, I would nag him until he gave me the certificate. <laughs> so if you want peace with your loved one, you had better give them that certificate. Sometimes that certificate means so much to a woman that you will never know what is in her mind. Actually, it is settles a woman to have that certificate. So why not just give them so that you remove the nagging? <laughs> and we left university. We got married. The following year, he was given to go to Geshogo. I was six months pregnant. I was left in Nairobi. He went to Geshogo. And I had to live by myself. So sometimes when we speak and without understanding, you may think it is very easy. I am left in Nairobi. He is earning, I think, 4,800. I was earning 6,000. Then we have to have two homes. And the little that we have now, we have to divide because now he has his own expenditure. I have my own expenditure. And here I'm expecting his child. I have to go to to, to maternity, I will have to go to all those things. And sometimes it can be very challenging. Then I got lucky, I was taken to Nyeri because I was working with the bank. When they realized my husband was on that Kerenyaga side, they took me to Nyeri. When we arrived there, before we could get our child, he was uh, transferred to Nairobi. <laughs> So when do you hear about these transfers, it's a crisis. Now I'm left, I'm almost giving birth. I am in Nyeri, now he's gone back to Nairobi. And he's busy. But I thank God, he would find time to come home. In the evenings, he would drive from Nairobi, and he arrives at midnight. Before he even sits down, the DC calls him. Then he's told to go back. So by morning, he's still not with me. I'm left there by myself. So the life that you are living is a sacrifice. Mm -hmm.